This week in the Civil War, July 22nd, 1861, federal forces streamed back to Washington, reeling from their loss in Manassas. This retreat took some men less than a quarter of the time it took for their initial march to Centerville. Chaos ensued as soldiers became separated from their units and the medical service was wholly unprepared to care for the mass of the wounded. July 25th, the Senate passed the Crittenden Resolution. It stated the North was fighting the war to defend and maintain the supremacy of the Constitution and to preserve the Union. The war, according to Congress, was not fought to interfere with slavery or subjugate the South. July 26th, Union Major General George B. McClellan assumed command of the newly formed Army of the Potomac. McClellan's unashamed self-promotion paid off for him. July 28th, the 7th U.S. Infantry in New Mexico surrendered entirely to Confederate forces under Captain John R. Baylor without firing a shot. I'm Brendan Forrest, and this is Civil War.